Got the redox titration question here from the OCRA 2018 paper 1. So there's the question there and the different parts are down here. So if you want to process that, have a go and then play on for the answers. So first part, complete the table for the titrers and decide which ones to use for the mean. Important thing here is to remember the decimal places. So it's 24.00, 23.40, don't forget that zero, otherwise it'll mark you down, 23.75 and 23.85, which for the mean, well you never use the trial, so forget about that straight away. And then looking at these three, we're looking for concordant results, in other words, within 0 0.1 cm cubed, so it's those two there. Sorry, I haven't got a tick, so I have to use a heart. So the mean is obviously the average of those two, which is 23.80. The uncertainty for tighter 1 now, just remember that a tighter is based on two Burek readings, so you've got to double the uncertainty. So for the tighter 1, it's 0 0.1 over 23.4 times 100, 0.43%. So the next part, how do you determine the end point accurately? So near the end of the titration, the colours are sort of pale straw colour. You add starch indicator. That's going to pick up any um, small amount of iodine still in the flask and it goes blue-black. So when all the iodine's gone, I at the end point, the indicator goes from blue-black to colourless. So now the calculation, I always draw a little sketch of what's going on. So for the first part, they've dissolved 1.55 grams of this group 1 iodate 5 salt B into this 250ml volumetric flask. They've taken out 25 cm cubed. They've added some sulfuric acid and some Ki. And that gave us reaction 1, which produces the iodine. And then the thiosulfate is going to react with that iodine in the titration. And there's the second equation there. So the first thing we can calculate is the moles of thiosulfate used in the titration in that uh, average titra. The moles of iodine that must have been in the conical flask is going to be half of that from this ratio here. So we'll just simply divide that by 2. Now the thing to remember here is the moles of iodine in the titration are those moles. So we don't treble going between these two equations. You can't apply mole ratios across two different equations. So therefore the moles of iodate 5 in 25 cm cubed from this flask, the 25 that came out, is a third of the iodine moles. So we get those moles there. And then obviously in that flask it's going to be 10 times that. So we now know the moles, we knew the mass that was dissolved, so the MR of B is the mass over the moles, 260.5. It's a group 1 salt, so the ratio of the metal ion, so M plus to IO3 1 minus is 1 to 1. So therefore the MR of M plus, the metal in the um, salt, is going to be the MR minus the MR of IO3 minus, and that gives us 85.6 for the metal, so it's rubidium. So B is rubidium iodate 5.